My friends would describe me as creative, entrepreneurial and spiritual. I grew up in Australia, uh, in South Gippsland, which is an hour and a half southeast of Melbourne. I came here in 2008 uh, with my career which was in property development so I got to work on a huge amazing development in Abu Dhabi. I moved to Dubai because um, most of my friends lived in Dubai and Dubai was just a very established city. Um, also after I left my job in Abu Dhabi uh, I met my husband he was based in Dubai and my life really changed you know like when I first came here I would say that I was very career minded very all about business and always on the go, kind of, you know, living and working that very fast life that, that you do when you move here. So I wake up early in the morning and I get my son ready for nursery. Um, I make juice, because uh, I really like to start the day with a glass of freshly squeezed juice for the whole family, because I think that keeps you healthy. Um, then I take my son to nursery, come home, and then I work. So I write and I run social media and manage communications for a few boutique lifestyle clients. So I also work with My Dubai My City as a producer for a few different shows. Um, so I kind of get a four hour gap um, in the early part of the day where I can really concentrate and get a lot of writing and editing done. Uh, and then I can also have meetings. And then I pick my son up at 12 and then he comes home and because of the, the way our compound is designed, we can, he can play with lots of his friends in the afternoon. One of my favourite parts of Dubai, and I come from a background of shopping centre development, so I spent a lot of my, well, 14 years of my life building malls. And as much as I love design and retail and fashion, I really love Satwa. And I love Satwa because it's its own world and I've become really close friends with the tailors over the years living here and it's funny because so many people come and go but everything stays the same in Satwa. I think the one thing that's really hard about Dubai is when your friends leave. You know, you get really attached and you make really great friends and then for one reason or another their life changes and they move away. Having a child completely changed my life. So before I had Elfie, <clears throat> I worked for 14 years in property development, in developing malls, and I was very on the go, uh, always busy, and um, yeah, it was always about the next deal, so I was very much just quite a high energy person and adrenaline got me out of bed each day. But then having, having a child, you have to really slow down. So I think that it was a real change in energies. So, I really relied a lot on my masculine energy in my earlier career, whereas becoming a mother was quite daunting because I had to really embrace my feminine energy. And um, yeah, I would say I'm a completely different person today than what I was before I was a mother. The advantages of having your own business, particularly as a mother and as parents, is the flexibility. Um, you can drop your kids off at school, get your work done and have your meetings in between, pick your kids up. Um, they can play with the neighbours in the afternoon and you can work from home and be in the house and, and get your work done. And I love that. Probably the, the disadvantage is that you don't have the steady income because you're an entrepreneur, but you have the freedom. And I think at this phase in my life, freedom is just without question what's important to me as a mum. So Women, Money and the Style was really just a creative platform for me to research everything that I needed about self-protection for women um, as parents, you know, from insurance to, um, to all sorts of, you know, all sorts of elements of that different phase I was entering. Health insurance for kids, you know, life insurance, critical illness insurance. Some women do look at this, you know, before they have children, but I think it's definitely something that you look at when you become a parent. So I started this like mum casual style file and for me that was great because well I was, I was surprised at the response because I thought you know I'm not a high fashion style blogger, um, I was very mum casual but lots of women responded to that and they liked that and they liked the fact that there was um, something else out there to validate that they were allowed to feel great and that really was one of the keys to Women, Money and Style success was all these women just 
really loved to be re-inspired with what they wore. And not just mums, lots of businesswomen as well reached out to me and said they loved just the simplicity and the honesty and the, um, yeah, of the, of the style aspect of women, money and style.